at the bottom. All right, Mark, that go. No stop, the whole way. All right, rolling from the top of Alieska to the bottom, top speed, trying to keep up with the Riley. I think he's on some big Blizzard 190-something fat skis, and I'm on my little jerry launchers. Not to make excuses, but we're going fast here, and Riley goes faster, as we'll see. Right here, look at this. He sets into the turn. Bam! That, oh, that kind of made me like Riley a little bit more as a skier and maybe as a person, seeing him drop into that turn like that. Um, anyway. In here, a couple of turns, and then set into the actual turn, and that's you know we're just seeing him doing what I've been talking about as far as keeping your lower legs parallel and really locking that turn. But boom, he's just like pulling away from me. And these skis, I'm on like den ten or eleven, I think. And here he starts bombing away. I think he starts tucking. Oh yeah, and I didn't really want to tuck. I probably weigh 50 pounds more than him, so I'm thinking I can keep up by just standing there, but not really. He's pulling away. I talk about skis having speed limits. These jerry launchers were definitely at their speed limit. I just kept feeling like they were going to blow off my foot. Because we're probably pushing 60 miles an hour right here. And I'm like, oh, geez. And I'm kind of bailing them. Riley keeps pulling away. Look at that group of people up front. So we were, you're timing it. You see it. You see it. What's going to happen? And watch him. He floats up high. I get pushed way high by this guy. Really high. Right? Boom. Then he snuck down. And watch him dive over that corner. Zhoosh. Gone. I stay high, stay high, then boom, look at him, he's all the way down there. So that was pretty cool. Good job, Riley. Way to teach those kids. Woo! <laughs> Oh, you want me to hold it? Yeah. Oh my god. That is.